In the many years I've been in this business, I've often gotten questions about distributed sound systems. And it proves to me that many people don't really understand the reasons for utilizing constant voltage or high impedance systems. In most cases, folks tell me how these systems sound so much worse than low impedance 8 ohm systems. Now that's not necessarily the case. But in practice, it's often reality. Now that's simply because transformers are expensive. And really good transformers are really, really expensive. So why do we use transformers anyway? Well, using Ohm's law, we can easily determine that resistive losses in long cable runs increase proportionally with current running through those lines. Therefore, we want to minimize the amount of current in a cable to minimize our losses over these long distances. We also know that voltage and current are inversely proportional. So, the more voltage we have, the lower the current flow will be. Now, in order to do this, we have to step up the voltage at the amplifier and then step it back down at each speaker. This will allow us to run exceptionally long speaker lines with no noticeable loss in signal. Now, you could use top-end transformers and minimize the frequency roll-off, especially on the high end. But that's kind of counterproductive from a cost perspective. So manufacturers typically use modestly priced transformers and we don't expect 20 to 20k flat response. So here's how a high impedance sound system works. An amplifier designed for this application has a built-in step-up transformer. Typical output taps are at 25, 70, or 100 volts. Now remember, the higher the voltage, the lower the current, and therefore the longer the cable run can be without losses. We can also use a step-up transformer on any 8 ohm amplifier if we know what we're doing. Then we just daisy chain speakers in parallel, one after another, using inexpensive 18 or 16 gauge speaker cable. Now low losses mean thinner cable is fine. Speakers designed for this application have built-in step-down transformers that can be tapped at various power levels, like 1 watt to 30 watts or more. The tap setting determines the amount of power that will be delivered to that particular speaker. Now to find out how much power the amplifier should be rated at, we just have to add up all the speaker tap values and add about 10% or so for headroom. So if we have 20 speakers all tapped at 10 watts, we'll multiply 10 watts by 20 speakers to get 200 watts and then add 20 watts for headroom. In this case, a 220 watt amplifier would be perfect. More output power is okay, but just don't use an amplifier of lesser output value. Now when designing distributed sound systems, don't hesitate to tap your speakers at different power levels. Because this allows you to cover multiple areas with different physical characteristics from the same cable run and amplifier channel. You just add the various tap values up and add the 10% and match the amplifier channel output power. This is where 4 and 8 channel amplifiers come in real handy. You can run many speakers off of each channel and control each set of speakers separately. This is typically known as multiple zones. Now multiple zones allow you to have different content going to different places. This also lets paging systems address only the zones that the user desires. So you can begin to see how flexible such a system can be. You can even use a high impedance subwoofer to embellish the fidelity of your system for background and even foreground music applications. Plus, you can add volume controls in the line simply by connecting the appropriately rated 10k ohm pot right in parallel with the speakers. There's only one note that I want you to understand. Because your speaker lines are now considered high voltage, you must comply with the local electrical codes when running these cables. This includes cable fill ratios in electrical conduit. So do be aware of this in your designs. This ought to increase your capability of scaling sound systems at a minimum cost for dozens of opportunities. If you select the right speakers and amplifiers, these systems really can sound good too.